Banks all across this country are raising interest rates on America's struggling middle class in the midst of recession and weak recovery. Banks, by the way, can borrow money now at almost zero percent. They Those rates have been at historically low rates. Uh, those rates have been there for uh, the past two years. More than one in four credit card holders now pay interest rates above 20 percent. President Obama has called on Congress to strengthen consumer protection, but the plan doesn't call for a limit on lending rates. Why not? Bill Tucker has our report. President Obama wants Congress to establish a consumer financial protection agency to make sure consumers understand the financial rules. It will be charged with setting clear rules of the road for consumers and banks, and it will be able to enforce those rules across the board. Banking industry doesn't think it's needed. Chamber of Commerce doesn't either, saying, quote, we disagree that adding a new agency atop a broken regulatory system solves a problem or closes regulatory gaps. Consumer advocates see it very differently. And the president's call comes at a time when those advocates and consumers are increasingly angry over credit card interest rates. While the bank's cost of credit is at historic lows, consumers, everyday regular Americans' cost of credit is at historic highs. While at the same time, banks are taking that money, going back to Washington, saying, thank you, please, can I have some more? The Federal Reserve is currently making money available to banks at less than one quarter of 1% interest. The cost of money to consumers is much higher. Even consumers borrowing at the prime rate, which is currently at three and a quarter percent, are paying roughly 16 times the rate the banks borrowed the money in the first place. And according to Demos, one quarter of all Americans have credit card interest rates that exceed 20 percent. Bankers defend the high rates because they say they need to be able to price in the risk of credit card failure in order to make the business work. What is the most absurd of it all is that the resources the banks are lending are from the public, from the taxpayer. And essentially we're borrowing back from ourselves at what used to be literally a usurious interest rate. And speaking of usury rates, whatever happened to usury laws? Well, they essentially don't exist anymore, except for credit unions, where the maximum lending rate is capped at 18%. Now, national banks can charge whatever interest rate they want. They are limited only by the laws of the states where they are chartered. And Delaware and South Dakota are two of those states, and they have no usury laws, meaning that banks want to charge you 50% or more, they can. President Obama's agency, Lou, would do nothing to change that reality.